So the mainstream media refuses to cover what could be, I believe, the biggest story of our time. An American doctor's involvement in the creation of a super virus released onto the world. I'm talking, of course, about Dr. Anthony Fauci through all of this. And the growing evidence that he knew and possibly even encouraged the research inside the Wuhan lab that most likely led to the creation of COVID-19. Why does the media hide a story that is clearly in the public's best interest to investigate? Well, I believe the answer is simple. It comes down to a lab leak, okay? And if that's the case, and if it's proven, Chinese scientists using American dollars engineered the deadly virus, well, President Trump can no longer be blamed for it. The media can no longer make President Trump the villain when he, along with us on this network, raised the possibility that the virus escaped from that Chinese lab. Here is Dr. Fauci yesterday, still defending Wuhan lab scientists. The scientists in the Wuhan lab for years and years, among other credible, trusted scientists in China, we're not talking about the Communist Chinese Party, we're not talking about the Chinese military, Yes, you are. So that right there is a total and complete lie, a fabrication. We are talking about the Chinese Communist Party. It funds the lab to the tune of possibly $1 billion. That is by Dr. Fauci's own admission. And we know the Chinese descended on the lab in the days following the discovery of the virus, while China told the world the virus came from a bat. Well, some U.S. intelligence leaders that I have spoken with personally insist there is evidence the Chinese military in that Wuhan lab destroyed evidence and covered the tracks of a lab leak. And now, okay, we are getting this from Vanity Fair of all sources. It is now reporting, quote, State Department investigators say they were repeatedly advised not to open a, quote, Pandora's box and investigate the lab leak. So while the news media called us, all of us, crackpots for pushing the lab leak theory, all the while, U.S. State Department investigators were convinced it was a real possibility, yet they were shut down. If true, this is the deep state at work. After all, the gain-of-function research started long before 2015. Scientists ramped it up, it appears now, during the Obama administration. And now, it sure looks like the Obama deep state, still entrenched inside the State Department to this day, didn't want anyone poking around. They had President Trump as their scapegoat. And they wanted anyone who might ruin their potential destruction of Trump destroyed. Remember the CDC director, Dr. Robert Redfield? I am of the point of view that I still think the most likely uh, etiology of this pathogen in Wuhan was a, from a laboratory, um, you know, escaped. Uh, the other people don't believe that. That's fine. Science will eventually figure it out. Yeah, and that's starting to happen. You see, the media eviscerated Dr. Redfield for that comment. They did all they could do to discredit the leader of the CDC for simply backing the most likely scenario. The magazine also is reporting one State Department investigator quit in disgust because he wasn't going to be part of the Wuhan lab leak, quote, cover-up. An interesting choice of words, Dr. Redfield also floated on CNN saying, quote, it seems to me that some of the information People are not being transparent about it. I could use the word cover-up, but I don't know that, so I'm not going to speculate that. Except he said he could use it. All of it, as this week's email dump appears to confirm, proves Dr. Fauci knew, at the very least, the possibility that China weaponized this virus and then leaked it, either by accident or on purpose. And yet still, as Fauci continues to engage in his own China virus cover-up, Joe Biden 
ignores the facts in favor of a man caught in way too many lies. Wait till you see this clip. Mr. President, you talk cops and Dr. Fauci? Yes, I'm very confident, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> That's the president. It's bizarre poking his little head out from behind the door. It took him what felt like an eternity to oddly poke that head from behind the door to tell us he is confident in Fauci, leaving most Americans realizing the president is in a strange, senile, old state here, okay, that does not inspire confidence in anything. Certainly not Dr. Fauci, who needs to tell us what he really knows about China and the virus. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.